Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a second video in Python projects series. In the first video, we have developed two options. One for showing the menu, two for ordering the item. So you can see the output here. But we have problem in option two. So currently, we are able to support only one item at a time. That means user can buy only one item at a time. So in case if user wants to buy two items in one go, we do not have that option here. Okay, so let's rectify that problem and let's support more than one item. Okay, so let me stop the program first. And here it is. So if you see here, the option two, okay, in the option two, we are taking the input, a single input from the user. Okay, instead of taking a single input, what we will do is we will take multiple items as an input okay so with the comma separated let's say something like a user wanted to buy a chicken biryani and the chicken kebab and even some dessert as well maybe ice cream so these three items has to be provided as a comma separated that means id one comma two comma maybe the number five whatever the id number of that particular item and we need to read that input in our program and we need to split that with a comma and finally we need to convert that into a integer list okay for this we will use the map function okay so let's do that first so i will just remove it and i will name this as a order items because we will have more than one item now right so what I will do is I will take a map function as I said and map will take uh, at least two parameters as input and what we will do is whatever the input that we get we will be converting that here okay so let's do that so first I will take the input here like we will ask the user uh, what you want to try today okay so maybe a question mark in the space after that since we are expecting the items with a comma separated right so we will split the input with a comma okay so split and this split will take the comma so what will happen after this one we will get a list of okay list of numbers but those will be in the uh, string data type will be string so using this map of int we will convert each value into the integer okay so that's why we are using this map it is a uh, very very useful here okay finally convert that into a list oh what happened sorry okay convert that into a list because map will return the map object okay so which may not be useful for us so we need to convert that map object into the list so that's why i again wrapped the entire map function inside the list now we will have the items that user wanted to order okay so let's uh, uh, have this banner okay that will be good right so to show it let's uh, do this one So previously we had only one item that's why uh, we have a single loop inside that we have a condition to check but currently we have more than one item so in this case what we will do is we will add another loop here to check each item each order item that user has ordered okay we will check we will take uh, one item at a time and we will check if that item is there in the menu or not if it is there we will add the total amount and finally we will show the total bill okay so let's do that for okay order item okay for order item in order items right so now i will have the order item here so what we can do is we can just move that inside here so this loop will iterate through the list of items i mean uh, the menu how many items are there that uh, that many times this loop will be iterated 
so now instead of checking order item directly okay order uh, yeah we will have to check the order ID, uh, order item only because we use a for loop here and each time we will get one order item id here so we will check that here and finally we will print that value and here we will break that particular loop because this is a loop inside loop right? this will break again and again it will go here and it will take another item and again it will come and then search and it will print if that item is there in the menu okay so this is so far this is good but we need the total amount let's say something like user has entered i mean ordered five items so for each item we need to take that amount of i mean price of that item and we need to accumulate a uh, price of each item and finally we need to show the total amount okay so for that what i will do is i will take another variable called uh, total bill so initially which will be zero okay so here what i will do is okay so i will do total bill is equal to total bill plus okay int of the item price whatever the item that we have identified here right so that one item dot we can directly say uh, price but uh, let's use get function to get the price if there is no price by default let's take 50 rupees just assume that every product i mean default price is 50 rupees in that restaurant or maybe let's say 10 rupees yeah this is cool okay finally let's print the total bill amount okay so for that what i will do is i will use the same uh, banner like this one here okay instead of printing this id and all here what i will do is i will use f string sorry it has come r so f slash t and we will say total amount and this time what is the total amount we need to print whatever the total bill we have right so this is the one cool so now this program can accept more than one item as an input let's see that if it is working properly or not i'm closing this and python restaurant yeah so first let's show the menu yeah it is showing the menu now choose option two and what i want to try today so i will i will eat non-veg today completely so i will take one two and even i want to try mutton biryani so which is option eight and finally i want to end with the lassi okay so which is six id number six so total six uh, four items i want to order okay now let's enter see what happened here so we got all the four items got listed here and even we got the total amount of our order as well pretty cool right yeah and if you want to improvise this one like uh, see currently we have option for adding one item each like one chicken biryani one mutton biryani one lassi okay what if user wanted to buy like uh, multiple items i mean one item i mean like two chicken biryanis and two lassi something like that how can we do it of course we can do that but we will do that in the next video okay so please uh, try to do this one and take the help of the program that we have wrote in this uh, class and if you have any doubts please mention the comment section below and i will meet you in the next video till then take care